will accompany me back to your camp where I will meet with your leader and present. Assuming your contingent the plot piles supplies supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to a You are to inform them that they we are leaving for Elder. Ask the Isle. So that's the way of it after all this. Alright, that you should be the one to deliver the news. If those are my orders, it's so be it for the fool. Decision. It's just I'm still confused by a couple of things here. I guess we've tried to tell them the truth of everything going on. And I guess they just believe in what they want, or it's just not listening. Or we just haven't really had the time to tell them, hey, you know how Var you think Varus is alive? No, he was killed by um, Xenos. By the way, not a demon. Actually, he becomes something that we don't even understand ourselves. Done is obstructed. Third duties involve more than the transportation supplies. It's rarely a simple thing. We have been given additional orders though, whether we fire to follow them depends entirely on your contingent. You and I are in this together now, like it or not. We have to recall our first. A place I'd like to visit on the way to you. Down here, I guess. This is my home. Ah. it was until that night I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell and thus spared my family who did not own a radio were less fortunate when dawn came I made my way here my parents my little brother and sister 
they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... They tried to... And I had to... I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning. To somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. The Garlean flag bears a chain. The bonds between our countrymen. Oh. A red link at its center. The blood of the fallen. Our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemont. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? I'm sorry, I forget I spoke. We should go. Oh. No use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But he wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlian rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United, as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them? To reduce everything to fundamental forms.
Like they'll just keep walking. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? my misbegotten youth. But what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics, to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand, to refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong, stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you or give you a thick ear, maybe both for good measure. Thank you, Alize. Huh? <gasps> hey!
<clears throat> the scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. What? Ambush! You don't have the men. Soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Uh. Stop, both of you! This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. It was all him. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. Your countrymen are not so. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? What... what are your orders? Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Bereft of hope and now dignity. I release you from your duty, all of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united, of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I, memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished.
Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just There's... hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. It's already over. Much more has occurred since the last met. As for determining what call next, just speak. That's not happening. Strange bedside. Before we proceed, tell me mm, what you know of the First Legion and the position of their forces. In our care. We're left to go hungry. Reckless, short sighted plan that risks the welfare of the people. They were sworn to protect. <clears throat> Nevertheless, we could not compel them to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in force and to do so, we would only incite panic, but perhaps they could be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go with Julius back to the station <clears throat> and have him lead the refugees here. Some may be unwilling or unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can get. Scouts seem to extradite them. Alphano and Alize and the scouts sent to extradite them should already be at the station. I will also have our other comrades in the area lend them to me. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of cycles. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta use that one more quick.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> All right, what were we doing? Is that more cyclists that just decided to show up on? We're gonna. All right, let's go for do this quest. I know how to do Oh boy. Here we go. I got it. Just before you did, and too late. Too late for what? What happened? He took his own life. After the news about the town, he freed us of our duties, then went alone. 
Assisted by the soldiers have seen. In due course shall the legion ordered a proper burial. He released us from our death. To be free, free to choose our own fate. Work. I have just this moment, Lucia. We are ready to commence the transfer of the refugees here to Camp Blast. Could they be willing to accept our aid? Some would rather die, but both of us just want to live as long as it's standard. We'll need to speak with the refugees. They'll have to decide for themselves if they wish to come. If any would prefer to stay, we have we can have supplies brought over for them. It'll be a hard journey for others, but we'll see they reach our camp safe. I get the ether right now. Yay! Yeah. I'm still trying to get this ether right working again. If that's out, we might be able to reach other points. It was only ever a dream, wasn't it? I think we could reclaim it, rebuild it all ourselves. Again, I sent my wife and daughter away the provinces. If there's a chance I might see them again, I'll take take me. Please. Well, got the air right sorted in, in the end. With a few adjustments, and now it'll work as well as it ever did. <clears throat> but what I can tell, the one in the... normal. That's where you are, are staying, is it? Now that most of us are packing up and leaving this place, I reckon it'll be more use for me and my skills over at your camp. Oh, and then just flood the place. Oh, oh wait, those are shadows. Oh wow, they're everywhere now. We all have to do without it. That's true. I heard from the others that you're not from around here. <laughs> you are one of us. Not that it makes any difference. Your brides, migrants, savages. While well, the words start to lose meaning until all that is left is anger and fear and hate. I I'm too. You and yours come to offer aid. I accept.
you have much to discuss. Our rescue, the attack on Camp Bird last. What we'd hope to talk about with the princess. But uh, all of that can wait. Most urgent matters to man or more urgent matters to man our attention. Any other refugees willing to come to our camp? <clears throat> Thank you for help. You and I should go first to secure the route back to And all the creatures in Tepper's talking about, I expect we'll have our hand. This should come in handy. Conqueror's chain, courtesy of our Lynx friends. I'd save it for the Temper, though. I'll mark a few points that need surveying on your map. Would you take a care of the riffraff? At the camp. Oh. You're just wanting me to straight up just... Okay. to my brother and I. We will raise them to the ground with devastating magics. Don't hurt yourselves. I'm so close. Halfway there. I'm halfway to 85. Mm -hmm. I gotta probably get his health down. Yeah, it's been changed.
a little creeped out by that. I would like to announce that I've been up for over 24 hours now. But I still have an hour, pretty much, over an hour where it's, the stream has been over 24 hours. Also, it's like this. As of now, I've been up for over 24 hours awake. In an hour, yeah, in, a, in an hour and like seven, eight? yeah, an hour and seven minutes, the stream will be on, have been up for 24 hours, but, and two hours will have been, um, having played M Walker for over 24 I'm not. I'm not going for that. I, I kind of... Ah, there you are. As expected, I ran into a few beasts who went down without much of a fight. Temper proved somewhat trouble. There's chains to keep them under control, so our allies take them into custody. That taken care of? I'm to gather a few supplies and then run and return to the station. Oh, I see to that. Do you mind appraising um, of our progress? As it happened, I have some rather pertinent information for that scouting. I'll save that for later. Things first. Uh, I just want to see how far we can get before. I don't. I don't know. Ah, uh, Ronald, I was informed of quitting suicide. It must have come as a great shock for his men. One of the refugees, I told, I'm told some were receptive of our proposal, but I would hear your first-hand account. That so many did not hesitate to, to accept did not hesitate to accept proves how desperate their situation has become. We'll do our best to make them feel welcome. They will be afforded the same treatment as any other refugees, personally notwithstanding, after all. And even if I wanted to make an example of them, there's no one left to learn from it. We will tell our allies that these soldiers were acting under the direct orders of their legionists and that following his suicide, they offer a full and unconditional surrender. Much quickly thought that he had lived, that 
Had he lived, he would be tried as a war criminal and his men punished for him. Perhaps by taking his own life, he hoped to absolve them of any... Like too many others, he was a true believer to the end. Who could say, I don't know the man, or his heart, his reasons, noble or otherwise, died with him. Falls on us to clean up the mess. Yeah. That's what we've begun to do. Clean up the mess. In from the cold. I assume you're curious about how matters have progressed here in your absence. Quite well, as it. Not that we procured Thorium from Tapper's Den, recently repaired Peters, and provide much needed corn. Furthermore, we prepared good food for everyone. Those from Tethrin shall find a hot meal waiting upon their arrival. There's one for you. But go ahead and get some water and rest. I believe that we're capable of wielding a or two without your assistance. On your way, might I ask you to seek out Pistola? She was but recently attending to the wounded. She meant to be taking a rest herself. That she is. I don't think she can rest. Yes, us. I have been taking proper breaks and am buying sufficient water, but what out of the warrior of life? You and the twins have established history of breakfast for, for your own well-being. We're all fortunate that none of you landed yourselves. I've already quiet enough to deal with. Between the temper and the first is wounded. Ah, so I can mend their bodies, hold their experiences. Have taken on their hearts and minds is another matter of For their sakes, we mustn't waver, nor must we rush ahead and even as to see the day one. Doing so invite disaster. Let's see, plain simple. Oh, it's one of them moments. Yeah, let's get that. Oh, let's do this. Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup.
warmth at last. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Lamincen Smiths that put the bloody things together. Well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way. We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate. I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat. Take that back. Make me. I will not stoop to your okay. level. Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? Yep. No, this is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea the Ilsebad contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. Our friend don't have the luxury of truth. Indeed, we can but do our utmost to unite these disparate peoples and lead them to victory. It is a remarkable achievement, 
Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Being tempered. They're all being tempered they again. They are being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. What? The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. I shall begin the preparations. Now, it is time for you to awaken. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. Borrowed? So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. Oh, Dare you! We had a Magitek engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed. Test subject. Gotcha. It's a dishes. Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. 
Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? How did you even pull it off? I mean, souls should have rebelled against it I've all. I've gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. What? At. Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Are you saying Boris is alive? Ah, exposition is in order. The Galian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. Yeah. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Everyone was praying to Boris. Everyone wanted Varus back, so of course they pray, believing he's still around. Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. Yeah, Emperor Varus is a primal. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far, in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest. Channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit, their anima. That fight's good. Same what happened. It calls to its subjects. Compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree? My lord. Present. Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill. Your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star.
The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. You couldn't do it. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger, and it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. Well, it would be more interesting While if I had my, my body. my lifeless body was in the possession I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. You wouldn't. All together. No, 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 no. your friends as you I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak we'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath you can thank me later for my generosity Is your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making his way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Tempered. Mm hmm. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. This is wrong. 
because compared to battle. This is wrong. 